Good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. Uh, for the family, once uh, there is no need uh, to introduce myself. However, uh, for the newcomers, uh, newbies, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Hasan Zeki Alp. I'm a retired engineer. I'm a lecturer in uh, a new generation programming languages here. So, uh, actually, uh, I have completed a few uh, uh, languages uh, such as uh, Python, uh, Kotlin, uh, and uh, this time uh, we're going on uh, Scala lessons. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, some of my uh, viewers uh, are uh, from Turkey, uh, uh, Turkish speakers. So uh, in my uh, schedule, in my program, uh, there is uh, some uh, uh, lessons uh, that will be uh, uh, spoken in Turkish. Uh, I have already uh, uh, is uh, published uh, one of them in uh, Python uh, in Turkish and uh, in uh, Ruby uh, as well. And uh, if uh, the concern is uh, so much, uh, uh, if the interest is uh, a little bit uh, bigger than uh, the original one, English one, uh, I will uh, consider uh, to prepare in Turkish. Okay, uh, that's enough uh, for warm up, I think. Uh, uh, let me uh, talk about uh, uh, Scala. Uh, Scala is a, a derived uh, uh, programming language of uh, Java families. Uh, actually, uh, in uh, Scala, uh, you are uh, some, uh, somehow uh, uh, free, free of uh, uh, from, uh, strict uh, uh, syntax uh, and uh, uh, just uh, uh, by considering uh, Groovy and uh, Kotlin, just uh, uh, we can say that uh, Scala is uh, much uh, more similar to uh, original Java. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, today, this afternoon, uh, I will uh, go on with our, our next, uh, the second uh, Scala lessons. Okay, without wasting any time, I would like to start up uh, our lessons. Okay. Uh, this is uh, uh, today. Uh, we'll go on with uh, the lesson uh, second. Okay, uh, here I already prepared uh, some uh, Scala snippets here. Uh, so I uh, save uh, time in order to typing uh, uh, this uh, snippet code here. Okay, uh, uh, our uh, Scala, uh, our object is uh, Scala demo eleven. Uh, so within this uh, object, I uh, define uh, two variables uh, or logical variables. Uh, one is uh, true, uh, the other is uh, false. Uh, just uh, I would like to show you uh, uh, A and B, logical and, and uh, A or B, logical or. Uh, this is the explanation, okay, within uh, quotation marks. Uh, in uh, Scala, uh, we use uh, ampersand uh, sign uh, in double form that uh, stands for uh, logical uh, and uh, and uh, two vertical uh, bars, vertical uh, dash uh, that stands for or logical or. Uh, so uh, uh, this is uh, the negation. Uh, that means uh, uh, after you complete uh, the calculation or evaluation of the inner uh, brackets, uh, you have to uh, negate it. Uh, you have to uh, uh, get negation of uh, that uh, logical result. Okay, uh, when we uh, run this one, Okay, the first one, uh, A and B, true uh, and false, uh, false, uh, true uh, or uh, false uh, gives uh, true, and uh, the uh, opposite of uh, this one uh, equals to true. Okay, uh, I want to give an example about uh, bitwise operators. Uh, bitwise, uh, bitwise uh, operators uh, uh, 
can be uh, used for uh, binary uh, calculation. Uh, in fact, uh, I uh, define a variable, uh, so I have to equal to 60 and uh, B 13 and C equals to zero. So uh, the corresponding value of uh, 60 uh, in a binary form, this is like that, uh, one, two, four, six, 11, uh, 30. Uh, so uh, the sum of uh, these, uh, the true ones equals to 60. And uh, this is uh, like that. 1, 2, uh, 4, 8. 8 plus 4 equals to 12 plus uh, 1 uh, gives 13. Uh, so uh, the case is uh, A and B. Uh, just uh, look here, you guys. Uh, only one ampersand uh, that stands for bitwise and okay and uh, this uh, uh, evaluation this and uh, logical and uh, operation uh, will give result uh, 12 just uh, we can uh, verify here uh, so uh, this one uh, will give uh, zero this one will give zero because the operator is and and uh, how about this one and this one and uh, it's, it's going to give uh, uh, true, and it is the same also, uh, because uh, both uh, are uh, true, both are one. And uh, this also uh, will give result uh, false, because one of them, at least one of them, is zero. So uh, the, the equivalent uh, value of in this in decimal, that uh, 12. Uh, so just uh, this is the paraphrasing. and. Uh, uh, plus C, uh, this is a uh, concatenation because uh, this is a string, in fact. So uh, this is considered as a string. Uh, so just uh, we can use a plus here. Uh, similarly, uh, we can uh, do uh, bitwise uh, or operation. operation uh, just uh, one of them, uh, being one of them is true, uh, is enough to get a result of true. Okay. That's one. Uh, th only that's uh, both are uh, false, so it's gonna give a uh, false, and uh, it's equivalent uh, value of uh, this best decimal uh, notation uh, is 61st, 61, and uh, this is gonna be printed. And uh, likewise, uh, this is uh, uh, just uh, I, I given uh, paraphrasing here binary operator complementary. That means uh, negation, in fact, uh, uh, after you calculate, uh, after you consider this one, uh, you will change all uh, ones to zero, all zeros to one. Uh, in fact, uh, that's the negation or complementary. And uh, th this is a shift left uh, operation. Uh, for example, uh, if you consider A, okay, uh, where is A? Okay, uh, after uh, shifting two uh, bits or two digits to the left, of course, because uh, the direction gives a hint about that, uh, it's going to be multiplied. In fact, I, I know it uh, from my university years. Uh, and uh, that means uh, one, one, zero, one, one, uh, one, one, uh, zero, 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 zero. Okay, uh, after shifting, one 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 zero 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 that uh, equals to uh, two two fifty in uh, decimal form. Uh, similarly, uh, that uh, stands for uh, division uh, because uh, we are uh, shifting uh, our original uh, decimal array uh, two bits uh, to the right. So uh, just consider this. Uh, where is this? Uh, okay, uh, for a. Uh, two bits uh, to the right means uh, uh, four ones. Okay, that stands for 15. This is not correct. This, this must be like this, 15. Because that stands for 15, in fact. Okay. Uh, let me run this one.
the last one uh, just uh, will uh, give uh, uh, <clears throat> up to the uh, uh, up to the right uh, uh, two uh, bit shift okay this is gonna uh, give the same uh, result okay uh, how about the next one okay uh, we're going on uh, with assignment operators uh, here uh, uh, simply uh, uh, we uh, define ABC uh, uh, variables uh, so as to be 10 20 and 0 uh, this uh, simple uh, arithmetic operation uh, so uh, we were going to print out uh, the result C okay and uh, uh, this is the uh, short form of increment one in fact uh, you are familiar about that and uh, this is the uh, increment uh, decrement of uh, in short form and uh, decrement uh, this is multiplication in short form and uh, this is the division in short form and uh, here the modular arithmetic or uh, by saying the other uh, name uh, remaining uh, division uh, division with remaining okay uh, this is also <coughs> uh, two bits uh, shift and uh, two bits right uh, this is uh, exclusive or uh, I will uh, paraphrase uh, this is the complementary and uh, this is the uh, negation this is the negation okay let's uh, run it and see one by one okay this is the sum 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 of uh, two uh, assignments two variables uh, this is the uh, increment, uh, this is the decrement, okay, uh, this is the multiplication, uh, uh, the value uh, is increased and after that it's multiplied by 10, so it's uh, it's gonna give a ter a 300, and uh, this is division, and uh, uh, this is uh, division with remaining, uh, so this is multiplication uh, so it becomes uh, uh, multiplied by 2 okay this is uh, division uh, divide by 2 okay in uh, it uh, calculates in uh, binary values after uh, after that it is converted into decimal and uh, this one uh, similar and uh, this is the uh, uh, and modem uh, and uh, manipulation this is the uh, negation and this is the complementary and uh, this is the negation no this is uh, or uh, implementation sorry okay uh, we're going on uh, if else uh, statements uh, in a Scala uh, here I define a variable as well as to 10 uh, so uh, this is the uh, comparison uh, if uh, x less than 20 so uh, this method will be printed out uh, so uh, just uh, uh, this is if statement if uh, x less than 20 so this is uh, to be printed okay Because uh, this uh, expression is true, in fact, because it's uh, uh, the value of x is equals to uh, 10. How about the next one? Okay, uh, here uh, our uh, the value of our variable equals to 30. Uh, so this time uh, the first uh, branching uh, will not work. Uh, so. Uh, uh, the other branch, else branch, uh, will uh, per, will be performed. So uh, we expect we expect that uh, this is the else statement will be printed out.
this else because uh, in fact uh, 30 greater than 20 uh, what next one okay we're going on if else uh, if uh, statement uh, so uh, our uh, variable uh, is, is resigned as uh, 30 so I make uh, the first uh, comparison here if x uh, if x equals to uh, 10 so it's gonna print this one and no in fact uh, it's not uh, equals to uh, that doesn't equal to uh, 10 uh, so here how about this one no uh, this one uh, will not uh, valid also else if if uh, x equals to 30 so uh, this method will be printed out so uh, value of x is uh, 30 will be printed out in fact uh, other branching will not uh, work just uh, we'll run and see that okay uh, just uh, look at the structure please uh, if uh, open parenthesis and the expression uh, that that's gonna give a uh, logical result and uh, this after indentation and uh, here And here, else if uh, option uh, is uh, uh, stands for, and uh, else if, and uh, the final uh, branching is else, and uh, that's the case. Okay. How about the next one? Okay. Uh, uh, my uh, first variable uh, equals to 20 and the other uh, variable y equals to 10. So uh, if uh, this is the nested if structure in, in fact, uh, the first uh, logical comparison uh, is like this. Uh, if uh, x equals to 20, so uh, the re if the result is true, so go on with this one. Uh, if y equals to tw 10, okay, uh, so this uh, Command uh, line uh, will be performed uh, then. Uh, print line uh, x uh, and uh, 20, x equals to 20 and y uh, equals to 10. Uh, we, do, we do not use any uh, extrapolation, interpolation here. And we run this x 20 and y 10 because uh, this. Uh, 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 condition is uh, performed and this condition is also performed that uh, that is that's gonna give a valid result uh, so uh, this uh, method uh, will be performed as a result of that and uh, how about uh, uh, this is an example of while loop uh, uh, the structure is uh, very similar to uh, similar uh, languages okay uh, uh, I uh, here uh, variable declaration here I give a uh, variable declaration here so it's to be uh, a equals to 10 uh, so while uh, loop execution while uh, a less than 20 okay uh, print line th this one okay with uh, concatenation and after that uh, we have to increase our variable local variable and uh, let me show you the result uh, Starting from 10 up to uh, 20, it's going to be uh, printed in separate lines. Okay, starting from 10 up to 20, but the 20 is not included because uh, the condition uh, just saying that uh, a, as long as a uh, less than 20, okay, is less than 20, it's going to uh, print out this uh, thing, value of a. Okay, uh, let me show you another example. Uh, this is uh, an example for do while loop. Uh, for uh, do while loop, uh, the structure is like this: do while. Okay, uh, within the uh, curly brackets, uh, we can uh, place our code here. Uh, of course, uh, without uh, increasing the uh, local variable, uh, such that uh, our local variable uh, here is a and equals to ten. It's assigned as ten, and uh, doing. Uh, while uh, it's a uh, do while loop, uh, all these uh, code pieces, code parts uh, will be performed. And uh, okay, uh, it's starting from 10. Uh, and uh, this is the uh, controlling condition. Uh, while uh, 
that means as long as uh, a less than 20 okay uh, it's gonna print out let me show you the result this time okay starting from 10 okay up to 20 but 20 is not included uh, once again uh, condition uh, the, uh, does not allow so uh, being equal so uh, 20 will not be uh, printed in our uh, last example today is like this uh, we're going on uh, with loops uh, once again our initial uh, local variable a equals to uh, zero is initialized as uh, zero and uh, uh, this is uh, an uh, example uh, with a range uh, for uh, a uh, a is going to be 1 to 10 okay it's translated is like this and uh, as long as uh, it uh, a is uh, within this uh, range so uh, this uh, line will be performed uh, value of a uh, semicolon plus a uh, okay uh, afterwards uh, i will give much more examples about that this kind of uh, notation is called generator in fact because uh, we uh, generate a loop in fact here starting from uh, ten, uh, 1 to 10 and uh, uh, during uh, performing this uh, line uh, during performing this method uh, it's repeated uh, automatically not uh, necessarily uh, to to place any increment here uh, that's why it's called a generator and uh, let me run this one okay uh, starting uh, from 1 to 10 of course uh, including uh, 10 uh, so uh, the value of a uh, the values of a will be printed in separate lines okay uh, that was the end of uh, uh, this course, uh, in fact, you guys. Uh, so far, we have uh, seen uh, lesson one and uh, lesson two, uh, and uh, uh, next week, uh, hopefully, uh, we'll go on uh, our uh, lesson three uh, with Scala. Uh, and uh, according to your uh, responses, uh, your commands. Uh, I will start up a Turkish version of uh, Scala lessons. And uh, thanks uh, for your watching, you guys. And uh, have a nice day. Bye bye.